Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Um, my name is Michelle, I'm Muse Unraveling, um, mainly with a focus of planners, but working on a blog that will talk about my personal healing, a um, little bit of just, you know, everything, but not everything, but like parenting. Um, I guess a yeah, healing, parenting, and planning. Um, I wanted to come on here and I know that we are like deep in the academic planner launch season. Um, but and coming close to the 2024 launch well, some stuff is already launched, but I just want to talk about the struggle that I'm having. So I originally had been using the passion planner for the last few years. Um, love 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 fashion planner um but the issue for me is that my uh circumstances have changed so um first of all i had a baby two years ago and to me that honestly feels equally like six months ago and 10 years ago but um before i had her i was you know i've been working for 19 years pretty much straight so um this served super well for me um for work slash home it just you know has that like awesome appointment um layout vibe uh to me everything it's just kind of how i see it so maybe this i see that this does work in a various other ways for other people but for me it, i've tried it and i can't uh keep up with it if I don't use it for work I tend to tr you know trying to do things but like I try to do meals there I just completely uh, I just can't um it's not something I can keep up with um in that way so I'm gonna have to move on from that for now um and if you know I mean I'm looking to work for myself this year and start developing and growing my skills so um that said it's not impossible that i wouldn't go back to it again um i love their company and and their messaging and everything they're just super awesome so thank you passion planner for having me um these two covers i got from soliloquy leather um it's a standard size and a pocket size so this pocket is true to um say field note size so three three it fits three and a half by five and a half it looks like it could fit yeah definitely a little bit bigger so i'm not i was looking into so this is my struggle here so this fits like field note size um so i was i really have the moleskin uh pocket planner or Leutsch term pocket planner for 2024 um, set in my mind for you know the coming season um, the coming year sorry and these are the only two leather well that's not true I actually I was gonna say these are the only two leather covers I have but they're not but this one is rings and is, she is gorgeous but um, it was my first rings and I also, I'm st I love them so much. I just don't know how to keep up with it. It's so different. Um, having loose leaf is just so different for me. I have tried to use it in a couple other ways, but we'll just have to see. I might have to sell it. Um, but these amazing covers are Traveler's Notebook um, style so they're string but they have strings um so the thing with that is i don't think it would be helpful i don't think they will be helpful for this is my current planner actually i'll show you in a sec um i don't think they'll be helpful for those pocket planners because they are like thick um they're not like the thin individual inserts um so i'm looking to maybe find an a6 leather cover i'm trying to just decide where starting to browse around i am in canada so it i don't tend to have have access to the good deals in the states there's so many amazing companies in the states as well and it's 
between, you know, shipping costs and, and the price differences is just a bit out of my range. Um, so I will, yeah, just see what I can, what I can find. Um, cause I really want to go for the Lloyd's term pocket planner because I, it's my understanding that they have, you know, a bit of a thicker paper, um, and that's kind of a deal breaker for me because, um, this is, this one's Moleskine and I love Moleskine for daily use, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's actually not that bad, but sometimes the shadowing, like the shadowing doesn't bother me when it's in a notebook, but it does bother me in a planner, if that makes sense. Um, because this just, I like my planner, like I'm totally neurodivergent. So it stresses me out a lot. Like I tend to feel crowded in when it looks busy. So in notebooks, it's not so bad because I don't, I kind of, once I move on, I move on. Um, but in planners, like I got to look at that week for the whole week. So I don't know. Anyway, doesn't really have to make sense to you. It's just kind of how I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, this is gorgeous and I, yeah, just wanted to share it. This is Kirch, if I'm pronouncing that right. The color is Kirch. Um, it's a gorgeous, like, uh, pink red, looks pink red to me. It's, um, like a wine. Beautiful. This one, um, I'm trying to remember there's a little bit of water damage there. This one is, um, standard size, um, uh, maple, maple. I can't remember if that's the full my daughter got in there. Um, <laughs> yeah, she's two now. So my current setup is a collections book, collections book, a daily log, uh, the weekly insert from Traveler's Company and a journal. Um, I did, um, I did have like a self development book in here, but I've decided to switch out to a separate Moleskine notebook, um, which house, which houses my notes, inspiration, um, goals and things for self, uh, development. So like healing therapy notes when I go to therapy or what I want to share at therapy, um, or process from therapy, um, etc. And inspiration as well. So tools, uh, that I want to use to help me, uh, regulate my emotions or like regulate my, like regulate myself. And, um, cause it's in therapy for me, it, a lot of it is, um, not only bringing up and healing, um, past wounds, but also how to move forward. So, you know, that takes some intentional, um, reviewing of your value, personal values and personal goals, um, beliefs. I actually had a overturn of myself. I had realized that I never really thought about that my whole life and I'm like 36. So, um, it's been eye opening, like empowering work. So it's, 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 its own pace kind of thing. Um, anyway, this has been my system for most of this year alongside my passion planner. Um, previous to sort of between passion planners and before that I did bullet journaling, um, which was super fun. I actually found it to, the easiest to, to keep up with. And honestly, it makes sense for me because Ryder Carroll, the original creator of the bullet journal system is neurodivergent. He's, he has ADHD and he spent many years curating that, um, that system for himself. And he was convinced you got to check out his website. It really tells you everything, but he, his friend convinced him to share it with the world. And because, you know, they thought it was a very valuable tool and lo and behold, it absolutely is. Um, and the reason I'm able to keep up with that is mainly because, um, it's just day to day, right? So you come and go as you please. You make it as fancy or, or not fancy. <laughs> My daughter got in there again. Um, and it's, it, you know, to some, it looks messy, but really it's, 
autonomy is so weirdly important to um, neurodivergent. Well, I'm not going to speak for everybody, sorry. For me as a neurodivergent, autonomy is super important. Um, just not feeling locked in to have to fill up, you know, that time slot every week. And even if you know you don't have to, it's sitting there kind of, you know, in your face saying, hey, like, you aren't doing anything on this day or for several days or, you know, a long time. And, you know, we get stressed out because of the white space. Um, and I really love, I, I also have realized that I do love horizontal. It's really my, um, it's really just where I, I, I'm drawn to, I'm drawn, like I feel comfortable and I feel like, you know, it's also not, there's not a ton of space, so you don't feel compelled to, you know, do like any elaborate um, layouts to fill it all in. And it's like, yes, I, I, I'm okay with white space, but I'm, I'm more okay with this kind of white space, you know, rather than like this huge rows across a page that are blank. Whereas here you have some stuff and if you have you know, you want, you can do so much with this layout. Um, I usually put just whatever I feel like. So this week, this week, um, it's really just kind of Barbie ish themed and yeah, like Barbie's like in right now. I went and saw Barbie and I had a major cathartic, um, breakthrough. I bawled my eyes out. The validation that I felt as a woman, um, with with the amazing um like scenes you know with the um like speeches and stuff like that it's just you know really brought you on a roller coaster of a roller coaster ride of the experience of kind of being a woman or you know woman or girl to a woman and then just kind of it's just hard to be a woman you know like it just is um for, for many of us anyway. Um, and I, I had a hard time being, uh, feminine. I just felt like, um, I was kind of taught growing up that being feminine was somehow disempowering somehow. Um, I don't, I don't know why I couldn't really, it was kind of mixed with also the, the messages you get in media about how you should look and stuff like that. Um, there's nothing to hide here. I don't know why I'd hide that. Um, but that movie really helped me have a breakthrough in realizing that, fuck yeah, I love pink. Like, <laughs> I've always been denying that I liked pink for s my whole life and um, not really knowing why. And I like pink. I mean, I don't, it's not like... I don't know. It just brings me good energy. So it makes me happy. So yeah, anyway, babbling so much. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. So usually I do a bit of a, uh, like a mini tracker if I feel like I need a bit of, and you can even see, I haven't, let's see what I've done. Um, I did fun things, but I can't remember which days. Thursday. Thursday was date night. Or date day. We went and saw the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mutant Mayhem. Uh, husband's movie choice. Um, that's not to say I wouldn't have chose Turtles. The Ninja Turtles. I lo we, love, we love a lot of the childhood um, pop culture. <laughs> We like Transformers and Ninja Turtles and I don't know, lots of stuff. Um, I have to look back at when I did my social posts. I'm reading this book called Big Magic. Um, I'll have to put it in below. I don't remember the author at the top of my head. Um, really talks about going inside and just... Um, kind of the stop dampering yourself so to speak like, I shouldn't even speak on it I just started it anyway it's kind of about like coming out of your coming out on your own and just going for it right so um 
yeah, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, the struggle really was, um, do I go with a mole skein that would fit in here? Cause mole skein fits in the true to size pocket. Cause mole skein's three and a half, 3.5 by 5.5 inches. Um, but the Leutsch term, which is the one I was kind of going for, thinking about going for, I would need an A6 cover. Um, if I needed a cover at all, but honestly, I do come back to my leather covers, you know, that experience of feeling them. They are super just soft and like pleasant to use. They just have such a home feeling. Um, so I'd have to get an A6 for the Leutsch term or I mean, either way I can order it, but, um, or I can go crazy and just change it all together and use this beautiful notebook that I won from notebook therapy. I think it was last year. Um, I don't remember all the specs, but I'm sure you guys, many of you are familiar, but it has, I think 120 GSM paper, um, a pocket in the back. I did some, I did some testing back here, ignored the alcohol based markers. I just wanted a swatch, um, which, you know, will come through, but this is the pastels by Azure, which I found at my local winners, um, for 10 bucks. But, um, yeah, obviously be 120 GSM, there's not even shadowing. So you would have to be fairly heavy heavy on the ink to have it go through so I'm just sitting here wondering this is the moonlit moonlit spell edition bullet journal um super gorgeous lays flat you know it's beautiful well made um I've just been saving it you know just having my passion planner and my other ones and I used to use Peter Popper press actually for my first bullet journals like first three bullet journals i started back in 2000 oops i stuck there i started back in 2018 uh no sorry six 16 2016 i started using bullet journals because um when i went started university i had a i did i took a two-year diploma program at the University of Victoria, um, online based. So it's online based and I did it while I worked. So it was a working full time and sort of doing like all my personal time was used for university for two years. It was, it was quite a hump to get over, but I tell you, I, I did really well. I had such a fantastic time and I met some amazing connections and people, um, Anyway, that's how I started bullet journaling. So I always kind of come back to a bullet journaling or some close form of it. So this is kind of that nice middle where I can still buy an insert and I'm kind of happy with the light, the light, um, like the loose structure. And then this is totally open. Like this is really open too, because they have it and you can do it in half. You can do all kinds of stuff. So, you know, if my focus is meals, I can put the meals down there. If my focus is health. I can put health, you know, check, check off what I'm doing each day. It's really endless. The possibilities are really endless. So I just love this. And the Moleskine and Leutsch term are both very similar to this. So that's why I was considering it. Um, Another good reason is I just got a new pink Barbie purse, which um, I don't have close to me right now. Maybe if you, maybe I'll share it on my Instagram soon. Keep an eye on there. Um, <laughs> um, but it this will fit in it lengthways, but like just, and it feels just a bit too snug. Just like, you know, just a bit too snug for my comfort. So... It would be lovely to get an A6. I've been looking up, looking, eyeing up A6 for a long time. So, um, and this would go the opposite way. If I use this in my purse, it would fit, but it would just be really bulky. Um, I can't believe I say that because, you know, when I first started planning, like majorly planning or like, sorry, entering the online community of planning, A5 was like all the rage. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a good size, but it's just our circumstances change 
um, our needs change and you know we just it's a lot of space you know so totally understandable whether you want that so i just want to say thanks thanks for listening to my babbling um it will get more <laughs> get a bit more coherent maybe but that's a bit of my charm i'm a bit a little quirky that way when i talk but uh i'll be a bit more on point hopefully as we go anyway if you have questions or comments or maybe you feel like you related to this issue um are you struggling with your 2024 planner or your 2023 planner for that matter um i have been one of those that jumped through a couple back and forth and there was one year that i had two or three planners to start and um, it does sound a bit ridiculous when we're saying it out loud to other people but we are really just trying to find what works for us, what, what we can keep up with, what can keep up with us. Um, and nothing wrong with that. So anyway, cheers.